Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to roll. It's your girl Keonti and I'm going to go right ahead and give us a reading. Again, it's real free. It will be for the sign of Pisces, the baby sharks, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as well as the Pisces cross watcher. It is a general read, Pisces, so all things won't resonate for every last single one of you, nor should it. Use your intuition and your, intu your, intuition and your discernment and put yourself where you go in the energy if you go there at all. If I get it right for you, Pisces, please take care of your girl with a like, comment, subscribe, and a share. And if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, I am now accepting private readings and doing them again. So email your girl at for the love of water tarot at gmail.com if you're interested in booking one, okay? All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and see what messages I got. Let's see what's going on in our life here. Let's see what messages I get from Spirit. Spirit for the Pisces. Let's talk about what's going on in the current for Pisces. Okay. We have a tower. And underneath the deck was cut out. There could definitely be some sort of, there could be a shocking event where someone is getting cut from the team. Ooh, here's an, em an empress pregnancy. Ooh-wee. So let's get some on. <laughs> Let me get one more on what's going on in the current. One more. One more. The current energy for Pisces. Oh, dry spell. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh wee. Let's get some on the energy of who Pisces is dealing with. Who's Pisces dealing with here, spirit? Alrighty. Someone with an altar. Tell me more. Timing. Okay. All right, one more. I keep seeing a twin flame card under the deck, but I didn't want to talk about it. One more. <laughs> I didn't want to mention that. Okay, gossiping. Oh, right. Okay, so there is so, there is something getting ready to come in here, Pisces. Whoever you're dealing with, they're discussing it with someone about the timing of something. Something about the timing of making some sort of offer here towards you, I feel like. They could definitely be discussing... The, they, it, it could definitely be a discussion right now about like um, how there's a plan to offer you something, but it's like we're paralyzed. There's someone can't do anything just yet, right? They're not able to do something just yet, something about the timing, but there is something about an offer. Let me go ahead and get something for this in the near future, and then we're going to clarify these all the way down. Tell me what Pisces should be expected in the near future. Okay, six of cups. That's fine. Give me more. Near future. Right. Ooh, wee. What's this about? More. Okay. <laughs> and one more. One more. Ooh. I'm hearing Keisha Cole. I remember when my heart broke. I remember when I gave up loving you. My heart couldn't take no more of you. I was sad and lonely. I'm hearing that song. Near future. Okay. Underneath the deck, boundaries. No more enabling, feeling you, setting healthy boundaries. All right, Pisces. Let's talk about what I'm picking up here. Because Pisces in the current, there's getting ready to be some sort of tower coming in. It's coming in to an empress here. There's been a dry spell. There's something that's getting ready to go up. It's going to go. I have the tower. I have pregnancy. And I have dry spell. Okay. So I feel like there's like, and, and listen, this, this does, it, it, it's for some of you, it could definitely be like sexual, right? There could be like a burst, some, some sort of burst of sexual energy coming here but even even if it's not sexual Pisces it feels very much to me that there's that there's an empress here which I'm assuming is you there's like a tower coming right I feel like right now the I feel like in the past there's been this dry spell I feel like this dry spell could even still be happening right now but there's getting ready to be a tower here because the empress is here and the Empress does read getting pregnant, building a family, or giving birth to something. It's just the energy of growth, of development, and abundance. But there's a tower. Now, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Libra, a Scorpio. I feel like Pisces in the current, just, just right now, I feel like in the, in the recent past and just right now in the current, it's still a bit of a dry spell, right? Sexual abstinence, no action in love, long time being single. Just kind of like th things have just been kind of, it's kind of slow motion. I feel like a tower is headed in. Now, who you're dealing with, there is an offer coming from someone. A sincere offer of love, a romantic gift, an expression of love. There is something about the timing of it, though, right? Bad timing. Waiting for the right time. Patience is needed. And then we have gossip. 
I do feel like, Pisces, there is some sort of talk or discussion about this. There's an offer that's coming your way here from someone. I do feel like this, this someone is discussing the timing of things, though, right? Someone could literally be saying, like, they want to offer you something, but the timing isn't right right now, right? Or they're discussing something about timing with someone here, okay? Let's go ahead and start trying to clarify this. Let me see what let me see what additional messages I can get on here. And then we're talking, and I will do the, the what you should expect in the near future. I'll tell you a little bit what about about what I see in the near future. I do see there is an energy here where um there's some sort of energy in the near future, Pisces, where someone, I'm gonna say someone, I feel like it's you, but someone is in an energy where, like, um, when they're looking back on things from the past. They are definitely not in, they are definitely in the energy of uh, cutting out any situations where they feel like it was unrequited love, right? There's definitely an energy of looking back on some memories and feeling like there was some one-sided love or there was not enough attractions or, or, or getting rid of like any, any situation that somebody's looking back on where they're feeling like the feelings were not mutual. It feels like someone is cut out. Now, Pisces, there could definitely be someone here. That is very much trapped in their head, taking trips down memory lane, because I do feel like, Pisces, for some of you, you are de most definitely cutting ties and separation uh, and cutting your losses with the situation that you feel like is a lost cause or, like I said, it's uh, or, or was unrequited love, right? But let's go ahead and get some clarification. Let's see what we get on here. Give me some for this tower's energy here for the Pisces. What's this tower? The hammer, sabotage and reveal, persist, working on it, repairing. Okay, so Pisces, you know what this feels like to me? Look, the dragonfly, lighthearted, adapt, finding, finding out and change, things coming to light, to, things coming to light to heal. So Pisces, I do feel like something, um, something that the tower is coming in about something that has to be, something that's being rebuilt, right? Pisces, I feel like something was sabotaged. But now it feels like there's an energy of rebuilding and working and repairing, working on something and repairing something. The dragonfly is a very lighthearted energy. So Pisces, there could definitely be like, I don't know, don't get upset with me, Pisces, but it could be in the form of an apology. There could be someone who sabotaged something and wants to rebuild. There could be somebody who was, who was being very persistent about working on something or repairing something with, with you. They're coming in, they want to come in very lighthearted here. Or Pisces, this is just like recovering after this tower, right? Let me see what let, let me see what I get for this empress. What's this pre pregnancy about here for Pisces in the current? What's the pregnancy energy? Twin flame. I kept seeing it under the deck. Yin and yang, balance, union and duality, complement, polar opposite. So Pisces, listen, it keeps coming up in the reads, and I'm happy for y'all because I don't know if this work or love for some of you. This is career for some of you. This is love, right? But there, it keeps coming up to me that there is a collaboration. I feel like somebody gonna ring my doorbell. Give me one second, cause I'm seeing the notifications. No, okay, I'm fine. Sorry, guys. Look what's under here. Love call, expression, expression of love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. Pisces, it does feel like, like I said, with the Empress and Twin Flame, there's a couple here. There, there, there is a divine union or a partnership here. For sure, that's coming in for you. This is the empress, and you'll have to put her where she goes. You could be the empress, or, the, or you could, you know, masculine, feminine, put it where it goes. But this is a partnership, and, and, and there's, a, there's a, a phone call here to express it. So let's see why the dry spell is here. Pis Pisces, you may be surprised after some sort of... I feel like something. Some, I feel like there was some unex, there's some un, there's some, some unexpected events, some things that you that someone may have did not see coming, some things that someone could not have predicted that could have definitely sabotaged some things. But there is something that is coming in now, Pisces. You may be surprised that someone really wants to try to uh, someone who sabotaged something, but you was being really persistent about wanting to work on something with you. Engagement ring. See there. Look at this. Karmic relationship, relationship triggers, perception, intensity of letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. Now, under dry spell comes an engagement ring, higher, commit, higher commitment, eternity, partnership, and union, completion. Okay, so Pisces, there's getting ready to be some sort of completion of a cycle here. I'm feeling it strongly. I feel like this hammer and this tower was definitely some things that did not go as planned, did not go as you hoped, did not, did not go as you desired. There could literally be someone who definitely 
sabotage something with you and they definitely want to be persistent now Pisces there is an, in, an energy of this empress and this 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 um this yin and yang and this balance and this you this union and this duality after some sort of dry spell here engagement ring let's get some tarot on this let me see what this is about I, I, I do feel like um yes some of you was just like this like I said you've had some tower moments right there's been some things that did not go the way that you had planned, right? But you're having to be persistent. You're still working on things and you're progressing, right? And even though you've been this, em even though you're this empress, there's been this like this dry spell, right? But then something is coming in. There's like a commitment or an engagement or just, or like I said, a partnership. I definitely feel it. I feel like you're being, there's a proposal coming in to you. If not, if it's not a literal, in, you know, wedding proposal, there's a proposal here. Let me get some tarot on this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, email me. See, that's the love offering. It's something about the timing here. Maybe the dry, maybe it's been, maybe the dry spell is because there's been bad timing here. Okay, let me see. Give me one for this tower and this hammer here. Spirit, what's this about? Pisces, look. The eight of cups, the devil, and the ace of cups. So Pisces. I told you that sabotage energy, that tower energy. I do feel like there was some things point blank in the period with the eight of cups and the devil. Pisces, somebody had to turn their back and walk away from people, places, and things that were no longer serving them. Toxic, codependent energies, right? I don't know. I'm getting a little bit of um like abusive, uh, abusive energy, narcissism, lying, right? Codependency. But Pisces, there's an ace of cups coming in. This empress is already here, so I'm telling you. Pisces, there, I, I do feel like, I, listen, for some of you, it could definitely be somebody definitely surprised that you turned your back on them, right, for sure. But Pisces, I do feel like this is us walking right into an Ace of Cups. Here's that page of wands. This feels like communication. Let me get some for this pregnancy into a plane because there's an empress here. And then there, there's an empress here, and then there's an energy of a, un, of a union. Look, the tower, see, Pisces, what is these towers about? You could be dealing with a Scorpio, the Ten of Swords. So listen, again, with the Ten of Swords, the Tower, the Eight of Cups, Pisces, I definitely feel like there's been some things that that, that went un, that some that happened unexpectedly. Some things that you didn't see coming, some things that you could not predict. I do feel like there's things that have been sabotaged, right? But there's an energy of definitely rebuilding. Someone is definitely persistent and ready to work on it and ready to repair some things, right? Pisces, this could simply be you, right? The Ten of Swords with the Tower here feels like there's some there's some things here, Pisces, where you had no choice but to let go. The Tower, right? Something blew up, and with the Ten of Swords, it's like you had to let it go. But look, look what's under the Ten of Swords. The Empress. Pisces, y'all see this? They did the same thing yesterday. The Empress, the same energy, I'm telling you. And then under here is the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Swords. So there's definitely been an energy of having stress and worries, having to make head over heart decisions, being very emotional about commitments. I'm seeing some real messy stuff under here with some third-party stuff, and I'm trying to not even go there. But if you know, you know, you know for sure. I'm just going to leave it there. Let me see why this dry spell and engagement ring is here. Because, Pisces, I do feel like because things did not go the way you planned or someone, because things did not go the way someone planned, because someone had, a, because there's a, there, there was, there was, there's tower moments that's happened that's left someone with no choice but to turn their back on people, places, and things that's no longer serving them. Toxic, codependent, like I said, narcissism, abusive, whatever it is, right? But it's it's walking right into an ace of cups for sure. It's 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 definitely going on a journey and seeking emotional fulfillment and getting it. I do feel like that's why the dry spell is here. I do feel like somebody could have definitely decided that they had to put the hammer down and blow up some ish. Somebody could have to blow up some stuff for their own back, for their own peace of mind here, right? But I do feel like there's some sort of energy of after this dry spell, there's a proposal coming in. Let me go for this dry spell and engagement. The page of cups. Love offer. Seven of pentacles. Something or something that someone has been waiting on. Some sort of investment here. Hmm. Let's see. Let's talk about who you're dealing with here, Pisces. Because I do see you're dealing, there's an offer coming in here. There's a love offer. This is sincerity, right? I do feel like it's something about the timing, bad timing. There's talk about bad timing. There's a discussion about the right time, right? 
there's an energy that's that's going to make an offer to you. And there's something about bad time and they're waiting for the right time. Pa something about patience is being needed. I feel like they could be discussing this with someone else, gossiping about you, worry others will talk, heard rumors about you, something like that. Let's get some clarification. Let me see. What's the love offer about for who Pisces? That popped right out. Blowing kisses. Look, unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, affection return. I'm telling you, Pisces, this is an energy coming toward. This, this is whatever energy you're dealing with. You see the two big ass hearts. This is an energy that's that's giving you adoration. This is this is whoever you're dealing with. Look, healthy choices. And I like this. Self-love, self-care, being happier, love and life. So Pisces, I do feel like there's 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 definitely an offer coming in that's that doesn't feel like the devil, right? Because we see, we see somebody have to turn their back on the devil in order to get an ace of cups. It feels like this is the ace of cups coming in, right? So Pisces, I'm I'm hearing strongly things did not go the way. They were planned. There was definitely some things that got sabotaged. There's definitely an energy of having to rebuild. But I know for damn sure somebody is ready to go on a journey for something new. The Empress is definitely here. And there's a shock. I feel like there's another tower coming in. The, the, the shock is going to be when some sort of proposal comes in. It feels good, though. It feels the opposite of the devil. It feels healthy. So let's see what the bad timing is about. Let's see what this timing energy is about. What's this timing? in my hand. I want to get it clean. I can't even find it now. Okay. Date. <laughs> I'm going to leave it because I do feel like there's a date on something. Camera, there's a date on something. Give me one more on the timing. The t date and time. Date and time, Pisces. Date and time. Addiction. They go Capricorn here again and clock and then it feels like this Scorpio energy again. So, Pisces, there's a date and time for something here. Now listen, and the reason why the timing could be bad because there's something here about a codependency, an obsession or a restraint, possession or control or emotional block. There's something here about bad timing dealing. Um, that's the that's the resistance here. Some of you are just dealing with a Capricorn period. Then we have clock meeting time, cycles and takes time, time to heal progressing. I'm telling you, there's something here about a clock, a date, and a time. There's a, there's a date and a time here, Pisces. Some of you may have a date with a Capricorn. Somebody is there. So there's an offer coming in to you. And there's something here about the timing not being so great. There could be an it's energy. There's an energy that's waiting to offer. There, there's an energy that's getting ready to offer you something. But there's, there's something about waiting for the right time. And I do feel like this gossip is a conversation about this entire thing here. So let's see what the gossip card says. Look, separation is under here. Sadness, sadness and bitterness. I do feel like there's something about a date and a time of separating from something toxic. That's why something needs time. Okay, give me some for this gossip. What's this gossip about for Pisces? Why is the gossip here? Somebody you're dealing with is talking about this with somebody. The tower. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprising epiphany. Transformation. I got three towers out here. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. So somebody is talking about this. The sudden change, the shocking news, the surprise and epiphany, whatever is transforming. We got the tower over here. Look, passion, insane chemistry, sparks and having fun, equal interest, burning desire. So Pisces, there is some energy that does have a burning desire for you. I, I, there's there's talk about it. I do feel like there's there's the talk there's talk about some sudden changes and some shocking news here. And something that's transforming. Whoever you're dealing with is discussing this with someone. I just don't know what this is about, Pisces. Put it where it goes. But there's definitely a discussion about this, okay? There's an offer that someone's going to make to you. They, I feel like someone may even know the date and the time. I feel like someone's talking to somebody like they got something for you. They want to offer you something. The timing isn't right, though. But they know the date. It's something about a toxic situation that someone is dealing with that they need time with, Right? The timing is not right because of whatever this toxic energy is. And I got these clocks here, dates and times, clocks. But, they, they, but this progressing is here. So this is an energy that wants to work on something, repair something. <coughs> oh, they don't want me to talk either and want to progress something. There's, this energy is coming towards you with passion. Give me some for this love offering, blowing kisses for who Pisces is dealing with. 
the Eight of Pentacles. This could be somebody you work with. This could be dealing with work, but this is putting energy and effort into something with you. The Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with the Fire Sign. This could definitely be someone who is very attracted to you at work. This could also be someone who really wants to rush in and work on something with you. But it could be something about bad timing. See, this feels like the bad timing. The Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords, right? Like, I want to rush in, but I can't right now, right? Or I got a lot of ish going on right now. Here's the fool. Oh, yeah. Give me one more on this love offering, blowing kisses. What are you dealing with? The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is this is coming in. Ace of Pentacles on this love offer. For some of you, this is about work. But the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles gives nine pentacles. So this is like, this is stability. This feels very stable. The Wheel of Fortune. So it, yes, there is an energy. There's a, there's a, there's an energy that's coming towards you. And it's very, it has, a, it's, it is adoration for you. There's definitely adoration for you coming from this energy. This energy is ready to change something here. I also feel like this is this is kind of destined and faded. Yep, three of cups. This is definitely something you're gonna celebrate. So let's see what the time the the timing is about. Because I feel like there's a date and a time. Somebody is saying that there's a date and a time for something. Someone is saying the clock and the time is running out on something toxic, but it needs time, right? They're progressing, but it needs time. Give me some for this. The ace of wands. Look at this, Pisces. This is an energy getting ready to offer you something. I told you. The Queen of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Look, but there's a king of wands. Look at these people. There's people going. There's something going on with people here, Pisces. You have to put them where they go. The, I do have a king of wands under here, so it could definitely be someone taking action, coming towards you with this ace of wands. You could be the queen of pentacles, but put it where it goes. There's that eight of wands. There's that communication. I do feel like somebody is definitely communicating with somebody. Temperance, see, Sagittarius. Somebody is communicating with somebody something that they got some kind of ace of wands for you and some sort of ace of pentacles. Something there's like there's sparks, there's creativity, there's passion, and there's a potential for stability. Someone is talking to someone about how they're needing some time. Temperance. The lovers, yep. Judgment, yep. Someone is talking. It's a lot of majors under there. So let's talk about this gossip. Somebody is telling somebody that there's going to be some sudden changes. They could be surprising somebody what they're telling them. They could also, they, they could also be telling somebody about the, some epiphanies that they've had and about some transformations that they're happening. But there's definitely talk about this here. This is somebody talking to someone about this. The Six of Swords. See, someone is talking to somebody about moving on. Yep. And they're excited about it. The Page of Wands. King of Swords is under here. Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody is telling somebody this. Give me one more. Pisces, somebody could definitely be coming back trying to repair something with you because you could have they so you could you could have shocked somebody by completely turning your back on them. They did not see you doing it. Somebody could definitely be telling somebody that they did not see you doing this, right? And this could definitely be it's, it, it could be a shock that, that somebody's trying to come, somebody's coming back towards you. You could be completely surprised by this, especially if you turned your back on somebody because you felt like it was something toxic, codependent or something like that. I got strong Scorpio and Capricorn energy out here. Taurus, Libra. Give me one more for this gossip and this shock. There's something here about moving on. Somebody maybe temperance, Sagittarius energy. There could be something about uh, uh, Sagittarius season here, Scorpio season here. Look, the hangman, see Pisces, you involved. Somebody is telling somebody that, that that I feel like what you hear the hangman, like in divine time, and they coming towards you. The four of pentacles. Mm -hmm, something like 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 you like you just having to hang in there. And then here's a king of pentacles. Ooh, -wee. and death. Ooh, see, so it's something that's getting ready to transform here. For some of you, this is work related. Mm. Let's go ahead and talk about this near future energy here because I have memories. Right? Feelings of nostalgia, pleasure and sadness stuck in the past. This is just the Six of Cups. Right? I have cut out and unrequited. Cutting ties and then separation. Leaving before it gets worse. Cutting your losses. One-sided love. Not enough attractions. Feelings are not mutual. And then I have trapped in an unpleasant situation. Feeling stuck and cannot escape from it. Now, Pisces, what I did get from this, again, I feel like in the near future, some of you are, some of you could definitely be looking back at some shit. Right? When you look back on, on some stuff from the past, you could definitely be like, there could be pleasure and sadness, right? 
But I do feel like there's a determination to cut out some situations in the near future. Somebody's cutting out a situation where they feel like it's one-sided. They are. They are. Somebody is definitely in this energy where they're, they're trying to, they're going to cut themselves out of an unpleasant situation. Pisces, it could definitely be someone who is definitely wanting to come towards you. But listen, somebody else could be having to get themselves out of an unrequited love situation that they're stuck in. For sure, they could be trapped in, in, in thinking of you, missing you. I feel like you are yourself. You are looking back on the past with some ish. And you cutting some ish out. I do feel like you could even be like, I don't even know how I let myself get stuck in that or something like that. Let me see what I get on this for the near future. Memories. What's these memories about? Partying. Time with friends. Having fun. Happily single. Living in the moment. So there's definitely somebody taking trips on memory lane about time spent with somebody. For sure. Some of you, you may be moving on. Oh, okay, listen. Some of you, if this is a job offer, you may be like kicking it with some people before you move on, right? For sure. Look, cut down, cutting out separation, stop the pattern, side and treatment. For some of you, there is somebody who is missing you like hell. They miss spending time with you, but you're not. If you're giving them the side and treatment, perhaps. Give me one more for the memories, energy, if you're in the future. Grounding, stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. So there's going to be some sort of celebration of security and stability for sure. There's, there, there's Pisces, but there is also, I don't know if it's an earth sign or who it is, but there's definitely somebody who is just sitting up, like really taking trips down memory lane, missing you. I feel like somebody could definitely miss the good times that y'all had together. They missed the stability and the security of y'all relationship. But some of you are literally just celebrating with friends and family some security and stability that you got coming because I see it coming in here. Let me, let, I'm going to, no, I'm not, I'm not going to split them up. Let's see if this cut out unrequited. In the near future, somebody is cutting ties and a separation and leaving some shit behind that they feel like it's unrequited. That's one-sided where it's not enough. It's not enough. The feelings are not mutual. Give me some of this. Oh, you would flip all the way. Sorry, guys. Yeah, far. The double seduction. Attraction, teasing, hooking up and date, third party temptation. Yeah, somebody is not, somebody is definitely, um, now listen, because I told y'all I had the double. I have somebody, Pisces, I don't know if you rock somebody's world and you might've rocked somebody's world by turning your back on some toxic ish or somebody Pisces, there's a shock and there's a shock behind somebody turning their back on some devil ass energy. It's here and it's here because somebody is going directly to an ace of cups. Somebody could literally be getting ready to sabotage. Like I, I see it. Somebody is cutting out some unrequited ish. That's like devil energy. Look, happiness, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. So yeah, somebody is definitely somebody is definitely ready to to have happiness. Give me one more for this. What is this in the future? Wow. Camera, they go to memories again. Pisces, there could definitely be somebody. I'm sorry, and I don't want to keep beating this dead horse, but I feel like there is definitely somebody in the near future who you could have definitely cut the fuck out. Somebody looking at your pictures, they missing you. I don't know if you're celebrating or you're partying, but they're seeing that. Somebody could definitely want to seduce you, Pisces. I see that too. Somebody could also be coming to the realization that they have been manipulated by someone, Pisces. Some, 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 um, it feels very much like, uh, the devil energy, right? Like cold, toxic, codependent. Somebody could be realizing they could, they're getting ready to cut out a situation because they could be realized that they were like seduced or tricked or they're like they're being used. And I'm getting by like, um, family, friends or something like that. Their perception could be changing about being, about, um, Codependent energies. They can be feel like they, they have to cut that out. Or something here, Pisces. Put it where it goes. Because I'm getting a couple things. Give me one for the trap energy in the future. Because I don't feel like you're trapped, Pisces. I don't. And I'm not understanding why this is coming up in the near future. The runner. Fear of intimacy. Running away. Intensity and letting go. Turmoil and fleeting. And under here is the snake. Competition. Enemy. The other woman. Look under your shoulder. Okay. Look over your shoulders. Okay. Okay. 
Pisces, I'm going to be honest with you. Because I don't feel like it's you. Pisces, I'm going to tell you, for some of you, you put the hammer down on some toxic issue with somebody. And you just decided to, like, manifest and grow some abundance and issue on your own, right? You, you kind of withdrew. You took it back a little bit. And you got some real, you got, you got a, a real legitimate offer coming your way here. Now, the funny part about it is, is I do feel like, I don't feel like this is your energy in the near future where you feeling trapped in no unpleasant situation. I don't, I don't feel like that. Pisces, I feel like in the near future, there is somebody in a world of ish here. I'm just going to be honest. I just don't like. Let me just try. Oh, I didn't. And it's going long again. Okay. Let me get something for this near future. Spirit, what can you tell me about this memory partying and grounding? Pisces, I do feel like you're going to be celebrating some stability here. You are going to be, like, nostalgic about some things. But I feel like there's also somebody who was stuck in the past, feeling nostalgic, looking at pictures. And there's something about missing, spending time with you and the stability and the grounding that you... Like, something about the, like, the stability of you guys' this connection or spending time with you or... The Two of Swords, the Four of Wands. I, Pisces, I do feel like there's somebody missing you. They're missing a connection with you. The Cherry, it's almost like somebody want to come towards you, but they holding back strength. You could be dealing with a Cancerian, a Leo. Somebody moves around a lot for money. They travel for money or they move around a lot for money. Could be somebody missing you. Yeah, could, could be wanting to come towards you, trying to figure out when they can come. For some of you, you don't see how somebody is sitting up, like, doing this. For some of you, you are flat out ignoring somebody. I'm going to be honest. Give me one more for this in the future. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Pentacles. I'm not sure who these people are. Pisces, I feel like for some of you, you know what? For some of you, yeah. And in the future, it's like um, you're so focused and driven on something else. I feel like you're focused and you're driven right now, so you're not really paying attention to someone else. That may be like really missing you one ish. Hmm. <laughs> why are these why is these people here? Look, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Somebody could definitely be getting ready to, to turn their back on, on a situation here. Pisces, whether this is you or someone else. I see it. There it is again. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Look, four of pentacles, three of swords. It's just a bunch of ish under here. Pisces, what I see for sure is with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords, you determine to move forward. Some of you are collaborating with feminine energy. I'm getting two or three females here. Let's see what this cutout and this unrequited is about in the near future. And seduction and camera. Somebody is definitely surprised. For some of you, someone is definitely someone who you're not dealing with anymore. They could be looking at your pictures. Somebody who you're not dealing with anymore. I also feel like somebody is seeing really seriously that they gotta, they gotta uh they got to cut their losses with a situation. They could have been seduced into something or they could be seeing how they being manipulated into something. They, they were manipulated into something. Somebody could also be, look, the Ace of Wands. Ooh, we, near future. The King of Pentacles. So, Pisces, there is, again, I don't feel, I, Pisces, I feel like you probably, and I feel like you probably already, it's, it's, it's coming here twice. I don't, just put it where it goes. Because I'm feeling it twice. I'm hearing, I'm feeling in the current and in the new future. I feel like in the current, you probably have already decided to put the hammer down and turn your back on certain things. But I feel like in the near future, someone else is making that decision. There's a King of Pentacles here. Page of Cups. There's that offer coming in. For that dry spell. There's that offer that's coming in here. I see it. Yep, it's an offer coming in. Be careful because some of you may have an earth sign trying to come in and seduce you or a fire sign. Give me one more. This. Six of Wands, victory, success, acknowledgement. This could even be about work, Pisces. There could literally be, be um, some people being let go, being sent packing, right? Because there could be something about a promotion or offer coming towards you. This is victory and success and acknowledgement. The moon, seven of cups, knight of pentacles. There's something coming in that's a bit mysterious about your long-term stability. You may have a couple of options too, Pisces, but I see you getting that yes. There is somebody missing you like hell that's trying to talk to you, Pisces. I'm not going to keep beating that dead horse. I'll put them where they go. If there's somebody who's um, trying to get your attention here and trying to seduce you, Pisces, they're trapped in, they're trapped in an unpleasant situation. And it's because of their own 
runner in them. Uh, this uh, this whole runner, this fear, intimacy, and running away. This whole turmoil. They could be stuck in some sh some shit that's got that's got a lot of turmoil too. They could be trapped in it for sure. I'm just this is so weird to me why this is in the near future. Cause it is, everything feels so good. You got you got a, a really good offer coming towards you, but in the near future, and this like I said, this may not be your ish. Somebody may definitely know they got to cut some ish out here because somebody is trapped in an unpleasant situation that they just want to run from. The star could be an Aquarius. Release and heal. The Ace of Swords, yes. I see somebody is, and I don't feel like this is you. Somebody is trapped in an unpleasant situation. They feeling stuck. They just want to run away. It's, in, it's intense and it's a lot of turmoil. And they just want to run away. They want to they wanna release, purge, and heal from this. Yep, the moon. Somebody in their emotions about it. And they, and they could definitely be trying to figure out what they're going to do about their long-term stability. It could have a lot to do with money. Something about money here. I see that, Pisces. Like, for sure. Because I feel like, and I also feel like, Pisces, you're going to get victory and success and acknowledgement because you cut in the near future. Because you cut out any situations that was un, uh, unrequited. For sure. Give me one more. In the future. You're dealing with an Aquarius here. Who is this person? Because this ain't you, Pisces. I don't feel like it's you. Three of Pentacles. See, somebody is stuck in an unpleasant situation. Knight of Cups. Four of Cups. Somebody, there's something about offering you something. Somebody is not happy that, they, they're, that they're not able to offer you something faster or something bigger. But there is somebody coming. <laughs> Ooh, shit. People, people. Give me one more. In the future. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Two cards of Wish Fulfillment. So who's wishing? There's the Seven of Swords. Okay, there it be. Here we go again. It's, it keeps coming up, Pisces. There's definitely something coming towards us. There's a plan behind the offer that's coming in to us. We don't see it coming. The Magician, Justice. We don't see some things coming because somebody's waiting. They're waiting on something to, to heal. And then there's going to be some sort of change. Pisces, this is not you. I do feel like there's definitely somebody that's figuring out how to um, get out of some sort of unpleasant situation because there's an Ace of Cups, an Ace of Pentacles, and Temperance coming for you. There is somebody seeing something very clearly about a toxic situation. They are seeing it clearly about a, some sort of third-party situation where there's a lot of struggling and tussling, and they're getting ready to wrap that up. And you're going to get a yes about something here. It's something, it, Pisces, there's some offer that's coming towards you, but someone is definitely trying to figure out how they're going to do this because they're waiting for the right time because there's something about there's a, there's a date and a time for something but somebody is saying that in order to progress something they need a little more time to heal something because there's definitely somebody i feel like that wants to come and spend time with you ground something solidify something for you there's some sort of victory and success that's getting ready to be offered to you there's some sort of energy that wants to give you what you wish and wish and wish fulfillment but there's something about being trapped in an unpleasant situation here where there's a lot of intensity, there's a lot of turmoil, but they said it, that it's fleeting, that they're getting ready to get out of this. That's getting ready to be over. I don't know, baby sharks. I'm getting out of here. I love you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, email me if you're interested in the book. And stay beautiful, stay blessed, and stay high vibing. Bye, Pisces.